Aboriginal art is an umbrella term of different art forms, including painting, pottery, and sewing. Aboriginal is the collective term for the Indigenous people of Australia, but each tribe possesses their own cultural identities and traditional values. Emily Kaminawade is one of the most well-known Aboriginal contemporary artists. Throughout her career, she has brought attention to the aesthetic beauty of Aboriginal art and its deep sense of cultural and traditional values. In order to understand Nawade's artwork, we must first understand Aboriginal culture. According to DK Eyewitness Travel Australia, Aboriginal tribes believe in the dream time, a system of flaws and beliefs. This belief system is based in mythology regarding Earth's creation. The indigenous people of Australia believed in creation ancestors, such as serpents, that played a role in forming the Earth. These creation ancestors were used to explain natural phenomenons similar to the gods and goddesses of Greek mythology. Each Aboriginal person, according to the dream time, has two souls, immortal and mortal. Their immortal soul is linked with a respective ancestral spirit or totem. Dreamtime stories tell of these creation ancestors and the ancient past. These stories describe landscape as connected, that is, each land is linked to one another. With their belief system, Aboriginal art is embedded with spiritual, traditional, and cultural meanings. Every piece tells a Dreamtime story. According to Marilyn Stockstad and David Cataforis's Art History, the time period of contemporary artists in Oceania is referred to as the reintegration process. With European influences, Aboriginal artists adopted canvas and acrylic paint, which opened new mediums to the ancient art forms. With this introduction of materials, Emily Kame Nawade was one of the first contemporary artists to combine the new with tradition. She would retain the traditional aspect of Aboriginal art by using traditional materials such as bark and ochre with the European materials of canvas and paint. She reinvented the art form and retained traditional techniques. Born in 1919, Nawade grew up in Utopia, a collection of five regions founded by Aboriginal ancestors. Each region or country is named after the main tribal families that dominated the land. In her article, Emily Kame Nawade, The Impossible Modernist, Margot Niel describes the European influence as Nawade's breakthrough into the Western art community and market. She had accomplished this breakthrough as a woman around the age of 80 in a society dictated by gender roles. Posthumously, in 2008, she became the first Australian artist to have a significant international solo exhibition titled Utopia, the genius of Emily Kame Nawade. Though featured in a cross-cultural event, Nawade's artwork cannot be interpreted as anything other than its original cultural embedded meanings. For this reason, her work, while using canvas and acrylic paints, retains the authenticity of the Aboriginal artwork. As expressed in the Dreamtime belief system, each Aboriginal person has an immortal soul linked to an ancestral spirit. Noare's spirit, or totem, is the yam. According to the National Museum of Australia, Emily's major dreaming, or Dreamtime story, focused on the yam, a tuber-type plant that grows underground and appears above ground as a vine. Her piece, Big Yam Dreaming, depicts lines of varied shape, color, and directionality. For the piece, she used synthetic paint on canvas. The paint strokes possess a tangible texture as if the lines are extending out of the canvas. She uses warm colors including red, pink, yellow, and orange. However, there is also the absence of color in certain areas of the painting. The contrast of warm colors to black seems to give the painting more depth. These intertwined lines represent the yam's roots, vines, the yam itself, and the ground under which it grows. The resemblance to the physical yam represents the mortal soul. However, these lines also represent the immortal soul. The lines act as ancestral lines. Each line is connected to another line in some way. There are different lines shown by the different colors, but they are all intertwined with each other. They become tangled and involved with one another. The mess of lines is representative of the ancestor's presence throughout Noare's life. Noare is the vine that extends out of the ground, while the roots underground are her ancestors. She is symbolically rooted in her people's tradition, and she plans to carry those traditions with her as she continues to grow her yam.